Woo-hoo! Welcome back to Scares on the Couch. I'm Will. I'm Dan. Were you doing the Doctor Who theme? Was I? I just picked three random notes that were spooky. Well, it sounded like the Doctor Who theme. More like Doctor Spooky. Which you've... <laughs> that doesn't even remotely rhyme. That's the name of the show, though. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, he's coming for you. Oh, shit. All right, we're back. This is going to be our final fight. We'll see. Maybe. With Papa Hella. Like, oh my gosh! You saw it yourself. I told everyone I was cursed. See, that voice is the dad voice. Right. That voice is that monster's voice. It's not though. Okay, so that that creep has come all the way up onto your face. Dillian, I know you're here. It was very sudden. Hold on. Oh. I'll you. Oh no. Oh no. Don't do this. Oh, it's like down your legs and down your other arms. Oh yeah, it's I'm being Okay, so it's for cinematic purposes. Yeah. Haha. Haha. Who? Oh, this is cool. This is a good oh, fight. Oh, what? This is a cool fight. And that was Fall Raven. Nope, nope, nope. I want to do the good one. Do let me do the good parry. Because those were my favorite parries. Yeah, he had the cool against parries. him, where he was like, do the spinning attack. That's like where you learn to parry. This one. Oh, yeah. Damn, I didn't do it in time. But yeah. I can do those ones. I forgot that those ones were a thing. What if I focus? Okay. I thought that would bring them into, like, view, but... What? Nice. Oh, oh and then there's this guy. Good old sword guy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh no. That's uncool. I did find it weird that it was going from hardest to easiest. I like how I'm just sort of fighting this guy and like... I mean, the sword guy was always just standing there. He wasn't a very hard boss. Yeah. I just need to make sure I don't let him sneak up on me. Yeah. Nope. No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Damn it. He's literally just like standing there. Yep, damn it. Okay. He almost looks like Pyramid Head in the shadows. A little bit. I can see that. Do I have to actually f hit him too? Because. Probably. I figured, like, I would kill one of Take them, them and off then one at a time. 1v1. Oh, that actually seems sort of like what's happened. Yeah, all's well that ends well. Unless... Never mind. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Can you look up? Is that him? No, that's not him. Nope. Aha. I know he's here. You took him from me. You have him. Let's go. Ooh, it curves upwards. It's getting further. Oh, no, it's shrinking. Oh, is that supposed to be Dillion? No. Or what? It's supposed I to be Hella. You haven't already. Fight me. Come on. You betrayed your own father. You betrayed 
which I think is supposed to sort of be like a manifestation of your mental illness, possibly, but maybe. Oh shit, God. Nope. Can I do I have nope. Don't let your darkness anyone else. No, that's not the person I... God, this lock-on system still annoys the shit out of me. Yeah. Great, and now I have that guy to deal with. Is my focus even recharging? It doesn't look like it is. Don't let go, Cinema. Keep working, Cinema. That's a horrible thing to say to a person. Well. Shit. Well, where's that? I don't know, because it sort of did the... Were you like, supposed to? I don't know. I think we might have just fucked up. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> it's a team effort. It's we. Because <laughs> this does not look like the good part. This might be bad end. But at the same time, like, it wasn't... It looked like I still had a few more tries, and then it cut scened into, like, it being all over my body. Oh... Is that so, your mother? So if that's the case, that's a little, like, shitty. I think that's your mother. Hmm, so maybe I was supposed to. Well, I think that's, I thought that was Hella. She had the same burns your mother did. Oh. Maybe you're basing your image of Hella off of your last image of your mother. Maybe. Okay, no, I don't think this is the bad. I think that I, I was just supposed to be overwhelmed. Gotcha. And I can't save them yet. <laughs> well, that's sad. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Is that what you want me to believe? After all you've done to me? And to him? You're not a lie, but you're a liar! You crawled into me to confuse me and deceive me. But I know. I know you have it. This is healthy. Yeah. This is how we cope with death. Yeah. For a second, I thought she was like nearing the end of her cycle of grief. Yeah. Coming on to acceptance. Oh. That's what you want, isn't it? Oh, is this like the beginning of the game? No, because now it seems like she's just going through different stages. Bargaining? Yeah. I'll fight with you at Ragnarok. Uh. 
Because if it is all a lie, like, if it is, like, you're not in hell, then where the hell are you? Like, are you just in your mind? Are you sleeping? Like, or have you been running around killing people because you think they're evil or, or skeleton mans? Maybe we can say they were all, like, evil readers? It really irritates me when subtitles don't line up with with what they're, what they're saying. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that being an issue with this game quite a bit. Go. Oh. Mm. So bad end. So bad end. Yeah. Bad end. All right. Great. And I don't think I can go reload my auto saves. There are no reloads, only continues. Shit. I don't know how it works. Oh, wait. Yeah, I know. Because a life without loss is one without love. You turn your back on death, and all you can see is the shadow that it casts. The longer you hide from it, the longer the shadow grows until all you can see is dark. When our time comes, you must look death in the eye and embrace it as a friend. Only then can we let go of our fear. I know this is like a tender emotional moment, but like all I can think about is how weird it is that his arms are so hairy. <laughs> and I know that's not like an absurd amount of hairy to thing. I'm just not a very hairy dude, and it looks weird to me. It's like you're wearing a sweater, only the sweater is your skin. Hmm. Oh. What? Wait. What? Wait, was she Hella all along? I don't know. I'm so confused. There's so much happening. Oh, she's got weird, like, symbols on her. She's, like, she's slowly becoming more and more to find flesh. Maybe it is, mm, is it like, Zombie Mom? It might be your Zombie Mom. Or it might just be Zombie You. The tenderness with which she's holding that head. Yeah. Oh, dude, I think we're in the head of that, like, weird stone dragon-looking thing. Oh, do you think so? Like, just sort of the... The wooden yeah. structure? What it is like to see the world as a child, suddenly. Every autumn leaf is like a work of art. Every rolling cloud a moving picture. Every day, a new story... Moving picture? Oh, every rolling cloud is a moving picture. Yeah. Like a wave <laughs> Only to return to the sea. She learned to let go. The 
the final stage of grief, acceptance. Every time I think, like, oh, it's done, yeah. it's like, oh, wait, here's this new shit. Here's that's a new I twist. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> It's a roller coaster of emotions. Because I cannot see further than this. Stop looking at me. Follow us. We have another story to tell. What? Sequel? Huh? My friend. Go with her. So who who are all these voices? This now will be your story to witness. What? just happened I know it's hard to tell. Hellblade I have no idea what's going I on I have no idea what just <laughs> happened Will Woohoo What the hell Well that was a journey So did did we learn to like what Okay so mm. So that was the proper ending. That wasn't because, like, I screwed up or anything. I, I think... I don't know if that was, like, the best ending you can get if there's multiple endings, but I do think that was, like, the actual ending. It is the actual ending. Evidently, there is a secret ending. I don't know how you unlock it. I mean, we mentioned before, we didn't collect all of the lore runes. But I think that's going to be the secret as, ending. As I often do when I get super upset with endings, I look up to see if I fucked up. <laughs> And, of course. And, um... And yes. Uh, no, apparently, like, you can just keep go doing that over, like, on and on and on until, like, inevitably you will die. Um, and then you get this ending. Wow. Um, so it's a little depressing. That is, but, like, at but the like, same time, the catharsis of it feels feels nice. Yeah. Like, she, she learns, she deals with her issues of losing Dillion... I'm still not entirely sure of how or, like, what happened with Dillian. Right. I don't really know the entire, like, you left. What happened with your dad? Your, did your dad die? I mean, one can only assume. Like. Because it sounds like the Northmen came and killed your entire town. Mm -hmm. But you were like, oh, I'm going to run away. So I. Mm. Yeah, you, you ran away to deal with your inner darkness. It just doesn't. And then you came back. feel like your father would have let that happen. I mean, she ran away to Dillian. I guess. And then she decided after Dillian after she after she met up with Dillian, she was like, "Okay, before we live our life together, I want to have to go deal with my problems off in the woods as people often do." And then she came back and they were all dead because of the Northmen's. And yeah, you unlock the final um you unlock the secret ending if you find all the lore stones. Knew it. Cuz there is that door right before the end yeah. where it shows all the different that, sigils that, that you were correct that was um, yeah. symbolizing how many you had found okay and if they all light up then you get the secret ending so we're probably yeah, well, not gonna go back yeah, and I, do that I would encourage you to if you enjoy this game at all uh, go and try and do that for yourself because it is worth playing through yeah it's a surprisingly emotional experience yeah I'm like I feel weird You're drained <laughs> Like, yes, very drained, like... Yeah. Like, this game is really good at making you Frustrated and, like, not... Tension? Not quite satisfied, but, like... It was still good. Yeah. Like... I, yeah. I feel I feel dissatisfied that we didn't get, like, a nice, happy resolution. Right, but, like, that's not... Oh, I mean, that's not how life works. Promise yeah. to anyone. And, yeah. like, but... At the same time, they're like, oh, we've got another story to tell. But what? Like, what is... Like, the rest of her life. I guess. 
But was that setting up for like a sequel, or was that the meaning of that? Was it like literally? I think the 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 very end of that game was extremely metaphorical. You, we, yeah. We, I mean, we were talking about she was grief. going through the yes. stages of grief. We were talking about how. Hella can represent her father, can represent her mother, can represent her. Her. Like, yeah. it's just her own inner yeah. darkness that she overcame. Exactly. Like, she embraced it and then just overcame it. Yeah. So, so I do think that the end is also supposed to be a metaphor of how she lets go of Dillian and she goes on a new adventure, a new part of her life. She has a new story to tell. Right. I just feel like... Like, do you think they'll make a second one? Do you think it warrants a sequel? I mean, or do you want it just to end there? I, I I feel like we've already finished her story. If they do make another Hellblade game, I'd like to be with a new character. Yeah. Or it could be like a Cooking Mama style game where she's just like <laughs> not going through all this shit anymore. <laughs> it's just like you're... It's just like a Viking simulator where you're just walking around and it's like, I need to cook dinner. I need yeah. to do my laundry. Yeah. Like, and that's it. Oh, all fans, the idea wasn't reading any of this. If you would like to find out more about psychoses and mental health difficulties, visit www.hellbladehelp.info. Interesting. I thought they were going to send us to, like, an actual medical website, but apparently there's info on the Hellblade website. I mean, they probably have, I don't know what kind of information they have there, but hopefully... They'll have consulted with actual doctors and psychologists. Yeah. And I th- I feel like it bears mentioning, if you feel like you need to go talk to a therapist, you need to go talk to a psychologist, go do it. I mean, no harm in that. Yeah. Everyone can use some help now and again. Yeah. Yeah, that was Hellblade. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, that was it. I don't know. I don't. I got nothing. Game. I got nothing. Uh, we we did this for the month of October, so this is we're probably gonna air this like the last week of October and have if anything's not right. aired, we're gonna just air it that last week, just all out at once. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna try like I'm ho- this like we're gonna have all this. Uh, this all should be out by Halloween, whether or not yeah. we have to post multiple episodes. And if, and if it's not, day. we're just gonna get like a bunch of them by the end. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed our Plutz play of, set of Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. And uh, one thing we are looking forward to is we've been uh, we've been recording possibly my favorite game from my childhood. Yeah. It's, uh, it stars ninjas <laughs> and kick-ass Inca jams and giant roller skating robots. Oh, my God. It's... <laughs> Uh, so, it, it's going to be airing shortly after this, yeah, as soon as we finish up with Spider-Man. I had, I'd had childhood experiences with it as well, though very different from Will. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we talk about that a little bit in the show, or in the, in the in that series. But it's coming out relatively soon, hopefully. Um, yeah, as soon as we finish wait, Ultimate Spider-Man. Because it's been like the most fun pl- Let's Play we've been doing so yeah, far. Yeah, really so, looking forward to that. Um, so please tune in. Yeah. We'll, we'll uh, see you next time, I guess. Yeah. Thank Later. you for watching.